Rogers are set, players are ready. Here we go, a little EASHL action, club style here on EA Sports. Opening face-off is just seconds away. The Penguins get off to a good start as they win the opening face-off. Chase in front! Oh, the rattles off his cage! Well, the goalie has to make a great save here because he gets the look he wants, and he's one of the best shooters in the game in terms of a quick release, and he's accurate. Oh, it stays out, he got a piece of that one. Oh, what a hip check, he lined it up perfectly. And sends it just out of reach. And there we go, icing is the call. Still plenty of time left in this frame. We're still scoreless. Pittsburgh's got it in the defensive zone. Well, there was certainly pressure on the center to win this draw, coming off of an icing where everyone's tired. You get the win, you get out of your zone. Moves it to the middle, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. And a solid save on the play there. Well, all those tracking and exercises when you're young come in handy when you're older, and this is a prime example. Look at him, Bob and Weave, trying to find that puck. He does and makes a save. Well, they always say to be great, you have to get uncomfortable. As we look at this last save, this looks uncomfortable. Stretching your body, finding a way to make yourself as big as possible to get to the save. That's what he did, and that's why the save was made. Gets a hold of the puck here at his own end. Takes a shot, takes it right in the chest. And there's the whistle giving him a chance to exhale. The Penguins win the draw, now let's see what they can do with it. The Ninjas get a hold of the puck in their own end. Lee stick handling in his own zone. And he'll retreat inside his own end. Here's a short pass to Topping. Oh, smart heads up, Reed. Slides it back to the blue line. Friedek Mistex got a hold of it along the wall. Topping's got it against the boards. Sends it to the middle. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Puck battle along the boards. The Ninjas have it against the wall. Great stop by the goaltender off the glove. Huge steal in his own end. The Ninjas gain possession, and he takes the feed. Puck dumped in. Pittsburgh's gain possession, and that's broken up by Lee. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. On the attack along the boards, and that pass is redirected. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Nice feed from the boards. And that's off target as it hits a body. Topping's got it in the offensive zone. Center and key. What a chance, but that goes off target off a body in front. Picks up the puck in his own end. Oh, and he throws a perfectly executed hip check there. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. The game is still scoreless. The Penguins start with the puck in their own end. Friedek Mistex got the puck along the boards. Takes it at center. Here's a shot. Oh, what a save! Uh, that doesn't swing momentum in your favor. I don't know what will, James. That's a last-ditch effort to make a play. What a beautiful save. On man rush. Here's a chance. And puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. Sometimes there's pressure on players when they get into that prime time scoring area. And because of it, they rush the shot. And I think that happened right there. Shuts him down. Picked up along the wall by Topping. Denies him. He got all of it. And the play continues. He's got a step. Makes the save. Oh, and this is a great save, James. 
The goaltender gets to the top of his crease, makes himself look huge, and is extremely aggressive to be able to make that stop. Here in the later stages of this period, we've still got zeros on the board. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Friedek Mistex across the blue line. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Dupuis. Friedek Mistex looking to break out. Great stretch pass as he connects. And he takes the pass. Pittsburgh's got the puck against the half wall. Makes the save. won the face off and now let's see what they can do we got a whistle penalty coming up the end of a period in a tight game and you take a penalty well your pk unit they've got to do a job and get you to the intermission man advantage unit is set Winding down the final minute of this opening frame. Comes up with the stop. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Michael's ready for the draw on this man advantage. Offense is on a face-off, and he wins the draw. time during tracking exercises and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from and he makes the save. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Shot! Scores! Oh, what a shot to beat the Teddy there! Well, that long-range heat seeker, he knows exactly where he is on the ice with his head up and that quick release shot just beats the goaltender. Well, he's known for that long-range wrister, and it comes in handy yet again, James. I think stick technology has a lot to do with it, but man, has he ever got that quick release and a ton of power behind it. Pittsburgh's finally pushed through, and they get the first goal here late in period number one. Sometimes at the end of a period, you know the intermission is coming, you know you're getting rest, and all of a sudden the tempo and the urgency increases, and that's what I saw this last shift and the reason they scored that goal. There's the buzzer, 20 minutes in the books, second period just around the corner. A clean sheet of ice beckons, and period number two set to get underway. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? Well, James, this has been a really fast game. It's got a ton of pace, but the goaltenders have been excellent in this one. Back and forth action, making a number of saves. you got to expect that it's going to blow open soon if this continues. I'm surprised it's only 1-0. Friedek Mistex got possession of the puck. Angles it over to Michael. Moves with the puck in the corner. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Drives to the paint. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the wall. 
Michaels into the offensive zone now on the attack. And he gets just enough of it to keep it out for the back of the net. Well, he's known for surprising goalies, James, because he's not afraid to take the shot from long range. But it's the amount of power Heedy gets on the shot that... Break away! Makes the save! Oh, and this is a great save. You can see this one-on-one -on -one battle. And the goaltender is so dialed in, tracking and makes that save. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. The Penguins have taken a 1-0 lead. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Dupuis is lugging the puck. Pittsburgh's got possession at center. Moves it around along the half wall. Steps in front of that one. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Looks like lineups are set and they're ready to get things back underway. Michaels won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. And that shot dies in traffic. Here's a blast! Oh, what a save! He stopped it! Wow! Oh, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. Moves it on over to Tuffy. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Topping. Free deck missed decks got it from behind the net. Here's a blast! Gives up the body for the block. Takes the feed. Off the mask and he keeps it out. Great hand eye by the goaltender poking it away. Free deck missed decks got a hold of it against the wall. The ninjas move the puck in the defensive zone. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. Makes his presence known on the ice. Pittsburgh's got the puck in their own end. Michaels carrying it ahead. Shot denied by the puck stopper. Wagner's been so consistent throughout tonight's game, and I mean, he's made timely saves as well. A lot of shots that he's faced in the save percentage is an indicator of it. Through the neutral zone, and yeah. all alone! Oh, he saved it! What a stop! Well, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and sending a clear message to his team that he's behind him. He's going to be the foundation tonight. Such an impressive save. Love looking at this one again, James. You know that this goaltender is dialed in so focused when they're doing everything to get to the puck and keep their opponent at bay. They take possession as he locks him up off the faceoff. Quick feed to Bruder. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Moves it to the middle. Reach that one. Moves the puck along the half wall. There he is from the slot. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Moves it to Michael. We got a whistle as the puck goes out of play. Here in the late goings of the period, we got a 1 0 game to this point. Pittsburgh's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. The Ninjas take possession in the defensive end. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. The league is trying to crack down on the cross-checking penalties here, James. He got eliminated from the game. It's dangerous. It's reckless. And guess what? He's going to get the two minutes. Power play unit comes out for the faceoff. Well, a timely power play at this juncture of the game, James, to even it up. This is huge for this power play. Your big stars, they need to shine. Puts it on net, and that banks off a stick. Slides the puck across to Lee. From the point, they take control of it. And forces a huge turnover here with the steal. Pittsburgh's working hard in all areas of the ice. Defense is structure, and it needs to happen in all three zones. When you're talking about stick positioning, they're doing a great job of taking away passes. Topping's got that zone ability that can help him generate some chances, guys. With the team trailing here, let's look to him to try to make a difference for them. 
Michaels won it off the faceoff. Inside his own end, moves the puck. Sends the pass over. Fires it on net. Denies him on the one-timer. Michael's got to feel good about his efforts tonight, guys. He's been able to generate offense just by using his own ability on the play. Pittsburgh's won the draw. Quick pass to Jackson. Blocked in traffic. The Ninjas have it now. Pittsburgh's lead is still intact after a solid effort by the penalty kill unit. Well, often in hockey, we say timing is everything. And when you're down by a goal and you have an opportunity on the power play, you have to cash in. And the whole bench knows that that was a missed opportunity. Pittsburgh's been bringing the heat offensively all night long, and they continue to lead here late in this middle frame. Bruner's moving the puck through his own zone. Intercepts it at center. Here's the pass. Picked off in front. Receives the pass. Shot. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. Wagner's dialed in and able to redirect that puck to the corner. And that concludes the second period of play. Still one more period of regulation time. We'll see what happens in the third next. Welcome back, James Sabalski ready to bring you all the play-by-play. -play. The third and final period is officially underway here. Well, two periods down, here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. Friedek Mischtek said the puck a ton in this game, so it often is difficult to find yourself trailing in it. And you know that there's some frustration when it comes to that, that the coaching staff will be telling in particular between the second and third intermission to stick with the game plan, continue to be urgent, but be a little more aggressive around the net and get net fun on every shot. Oh, and he stops that one that was served up with a whole lot of spice. Pittsburgh's got it from behind the net. Sails over the net. Sometimes when you have the puck on your stick in a prime time scoring area, it's not about threading the needle. And when you try and thread it, sometimes you miss. And that's what happened there. Well, a huge face-off coming up here. Well, you know that you want to gain possession and you want to keep the pressure on because the goaltender is the only one who can't change, and he is the most fatigued guy on the ice. So you want to find ways to get some net front presence, get shots through the net, because, man, he needs a rest. And we've got an offside with a face-off looming. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Pittsburgh's ahead, 1-0. Michaels won the draw at center. Slides the puck over. Oh, an unbelievable stop by Wagner. I'm surprised he didn't score here. I mean, he's got such a magical shot. It is so quick, and he disguises the release, but the goaltender caught up to it. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. 1-0 the score. Nice job tying up his opponent. From center, they get into the attacking area. And he's knocked off the puck there. Oh, he flushes the leather with that stop! The Penguins continue to lead here in this third period. They've been the busier team offensively. Saunders wins the offensive zone faceoff, and here we go. 
And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Centers are set, face off ready to resume play. Play resumes here as he wins the draw. Scores! All the one T in full effect. Ah, uh, this is his wheelhouse. I mean, this is exactly where he wants the puck. You leave him open for a moment and his teammates are gonna find him. That's what happens here, and he executes like he always does. Ah, oh, man, does he ever got that one T zone ability? I mean, he just launches it when it comes to him. I mean, he's in perfect set position. You know that he wants the puck, but it's all about the timing and the weight transfer. He's one of the best in the game at it. Free deck Mistech's not messing around. Look at that effort in the offensive zone, and as a result, we're tied up. Well, that's been their playground today, but they just haven't been able to convert until now where they get the equalizer. You can see the opportunities that they've had, and finally, they take advantage. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Too much congestion in front. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck now. The Penguins carry it along the wall. Here's the chance to set up now. That's gloved by Wagner. I love the way that he battles and competes for this puck, James. I mean, he loses it for a second, then he finds it, and he makes a save. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. It's all tied up. Friedek mistex has got the win off that draw. Slides it across to Michael. Sends a pass over. Friedek mistex gained possession along the boards. Topping's got it in the defensive end. Takes the feed. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Unloads from the blue line. He was locked in there. It's these types of games where you kind of shake your head and say, is there ever going to be a goal? And you get endless opportunities around the net and you can't finish. Often the stick gets a little bit tighter as you want that one so bad you can almost taste it and it's not just going in. Here's a short pass to Topping. Moves inside! Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Lehman. Chance in front. And that carries off a twig in front of the net. Friedek mistex has got the puck. Shot attempt completely fails on that. Poked away at center ice. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Saunders works the puck in his own zone. Moves it quickly over to Topping. Friedek Mistex on the attack. Here's a shot. Oh, and a huge save. Oh, nice use of the boards with the paint pass. Can't save, and he made it look easy. Great job there. Pushes it across to Michael. Great use of the stick here at center ice. And he loses control of the puck. Quick shot! And that goes off course off a of body. And that was a good heads up read to make that save. Oh, smart heads up play to put that one away. Michael's got the puck. Friedek Mistex got a hold of it along the wall. Slides the puck to Saunders. Coughs it up at center. Here's a chance, and that's deflected off someone in front. Here's a sprint for the loose puck. There's the whistle icing the call. A critical draw here. Under a minute to go in the third. And that's blocked as he gets down low. Into the offensive zone down the right wing. And offside, we'll get a reset here. Just here in the late stages of this frame, we got a tie game. Pittsburgh's won the draw in the neutral zone. Friedek Mistex looking to break out of their own end. Handles it along the blue line. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. Quick feed to Michael. Fires it! That's and the deadlock is broken as they take the lead. Well, that's a huge shift. You can see everyone standing up on the 
bench. They know how much it means, but it's the next shift that matters most now, James. You want to kind of push and put pressure on your opponent when they're down. He's got such an incredible skill set. We've seen it time and time again. When he's shooting in stride, he has that quick release. He can disguise his shot. He can use the defender as his screen any which way around it. He's going to put it in the back of the net. The Penguins have been a lot of fun to watch tonight. Lots of offensive scoring chances, and they have capitalized late here in this third. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Pittsburgh's been disrupting play all night long, and this is because of their stick position. You have to find ways to be aware and anticipate where that puck is going to be going. Doing a great job, but this is still a close one. You've got to find a way to generate some offense. Stars! And look at this! We are all back to square one! Just when you think the game is over, as quickly it can change when you have urgency and they're all around the net and everyone is on their feet there as they get the equalizer. This is deflating if you're the team that just got scored on in the dying seconds of the third period. You felt like you had the game in the bag and you gave it away. But on the other side, there's a ton of momentum, energy, and emotion. Centers gliding up to the face-off dots here. Michaels won it. Offside the call, we'll get a reset. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Oh, and it just stays out as he gets a piece of it with the glove. This has been a barn burner tonight as the horn sounds and we are going to overtime. If you thought this was dramatic, you ain't seen nothing yet. Stay with us. Officials are ready to drop the puck here in overtime. Puck is dropped. Both sides looking for that golden goal here. Makes it look easy. Great positioning with the pad save. It's incredible what an amazing shooter he is, James. He can change the angle of his shot at will. He's one of the best in the league at it. But this time, the goaltender read it and made the save. Along the right side into the offensive zone. And he makes the easy save. And he takes the dish. Takes a hit. He goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Can't get it to go. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. Topping's got it along the wing. Passes out front. Oh, and they couldn't complete that. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the boards. From point blank. Shuts it down with the paddle. What a stop. Goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. And the centers glide towards the dot here as we got a face-off set to go. Michael's got it, and they'll go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Referee's hand goes up in the air. We got a delayed penalty coming up here. Everyone has a role on their team, and this PK unit right now in overtime has to do a job if they want to remain in the game. Well, I really like them working off the 1-3-1 sequence that they were successful on earlier, James. It really opens up the ice, so you're using and stretching the entire zone. And listen, there's a lot of ice for the defense to cover. So you can look to the flanks, you can look to the bumper, but a lot of options off of it. And a nice save there as play continues. The Ninjas will play it from the defensive zone. Tries to get it out of their own end. 
Oh, and that's a big time clear there. Uh, the critical juncture of the game, and you're in your own zone. You got to find a way to get that puck out, and you do it. You focused on the details, and you made sure you got it. Can they capitalize on this power play? Here comes the faceoff. Pittsburgh's got it, and they're on the attack. Here's a chance, and that goes off a player. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. Gets it out of his own end. And that play's broken up. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. Time to execute here on this power play. Works it across to Michael. Pittsburgh's power play fails. Game on a stick, and he keeps it alive. What a stop. And he comes up big again. He makes some consecutive saves there. He's got to be wondering where his defense are. I mean, how about a little help? Tries to get it over to Topping. Pittsburgh's got possession of the puck. Knocked off the puck. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. And he puts that one aside with ease. And he passes it up ahead to Michael. Here's a shot. Oh, and he comes up with a big stop there. Slides it up front. Tries to the crease. A little bump and grind, but still hangs on to the puck. Big hit, and that frees up possession. Lee's taking it from his own end. And he slides it quickly to topping. The Penguins get a hold of the puck along the boards. And we got a delayed penalty coming up here. Moves it to topping. Cut it on the post. And here comes the judgment from the official. These are typically easy calls for officials to make as the opponent goes falling to the ice at the hands of your stick. Tough one to take. The Ninja send their man advantage unit out once more. Whoa, James, I'm surprised the ref made that call. A power play in overtime. This is exactly what you want when you're a big player. You want that hook on your stick with a chance to be the overtime winner. And he handles a cross ice pass. Great reach with the poke check. Freedeck Mistex got the puck along the wall. Quick pass to Saunders. A chance in front. The shot. Michaels recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Pittsburgh's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. And now he moves it to Michael. Deep inside the defensive zone, trying to clear the puck. Michael stick snaps and he's off to the bench to get a new one. Gets back into the play quickly. Here's a short pass to Bruner. Freedeck Mistex going to be hard pressed to find better opportunities to win it than that as they come up empty handed with the power play. That's a deflating one, James. Power play in overtime and you don't execute. You can see the bench right now. They were standing, now they're all sitting. Quick pass across to Michael. Jackson's got the puck now in his own end. Play is called for offside. Some last second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. Saunders gains possession at center ice. Moves the puck down low. What a great read breaking up the pass. Finishes his check with a 40 in the corner. A big face-off here inside the offensive end. They win the draw and go on the attack. Oh, and that goes off his mask. I don't think he planned to stop it that way, but he keeps it out. 
This is an impressive save right here, James. I mean, there's a ton of net front presence, and so a lot of traffic that he has to battle through to find the puck, and he does, and he makes a nice save. And that's knocked away. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it against the wall. And they send it right back to him. The Ninjas look to start the transition game. From the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. Oh, what a blocker stop by Lehman. Oh, and a good heads-up defensive play. And he hangs on to the puck. Friedek Mistex moving it into the offensive end. The Penguins have it from their own end. Oh, making his presence felt with a hit. Quick feed to Topping. Gaining momentum up along the side. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Shot! Oh, blocked down by Wagner! Shot from the wall. Oh, and another beauty stop right there! Well, you know that he's a fierce competitor, and he battled to make consecutive saves there, James. Both centers glide into the dot as a face-off set to resume. Pittsburgh's got possession of the puck after that neutral zone face-off. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Michaels won the draw, and they'll look to set up. And he hangs on just as time runs out. And there's the horn. Overtime, still solving nothing, so we will keep the good times rolling. We'll get a clean sheet of ice, and we'll continue to search for a winner right after this. the hero will there be a zero overtime set to go sudden death overtime continues here the next goal the winner takes a shot oh i thought he was gonna be beaten and he somehow got a piece of that there's the whistle as the play was offside this is a face-off they'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone and they win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Topping's able to corral that pass. He's got the puck on his stick. You know he's dangerous. He's got two in the game, and he's looking for another. And that one's turned aside. Gaining steam here on the attack. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Stopped with ease. Topping's got the puck in his own zone. Pittsburgh's got control of it now from their own end. To the front for the win, and he comes up with a huge save. Into the offensive end now. The Penguins have it now. Handles the puck, takes a shot, looking to end it.
so much for taking time out of your schedule to join us tonight. From all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Sabalski. See ya.